Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Let's begin to worship the name of the Lord for another meeting tonight. Let's appreciate the name of the Almighty God for His goodness, for His mercies, for the great grace we have received of the Lord Jesus Christ. The heart is drawn to the place of prayer. The heart is drawn to the place of travel. The heart is drawn to the place of seeking the face of God. The psalmist says in the book of Psalms 27, it says, When thou saidest, seek thou my face, it said, My soul said unto you, my heart said unto you, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. My heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Thy face, Lord, will I seek. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. It says, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. It says, Hide not thy face far from me. Put not thy servant away in anger. Thou hast been my help. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. O God of my salvation. I want to begin to worship God, to give him glory, to give him praise. Jesus, we say thank you. 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 We seek your face. We seek your face. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Thy face, Lord, will I seek. 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 Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Is someone worshipping God because of what the Lord is doing in our midst? The mighty revelations, the grace that is poured out, it says it will pour out upon the 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 the, 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 the nation of Israel the spirit of grace and supplication. The spirit of grace and supplication is released uh, by the mercies of the Lord. The spirit of grace and supplication is released. Is someone worshipping God? Is someone giving God praise? Is someone giving God honor? Jesus, we say thank you for the release of the spirit of grace, of the spirit of supplication. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. Jesus, we say thank you. The Bible says God is known in the palaces for a refuge. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. Jesus, we say thank you for the supply of heaven, for the sustenance of heaven, for the shield of heaven, for the salvation of heaven, for the deliverance of heaven jesus we say thank you jesus we say thank you hallelujah to the lord god is someone giving god praise is someone giving god worship jesus will worship you jesus will worship you you are worthy O oh god you are worthy O oh god to receive glory to receive honor, to receive praise, thou art worthy forever and ever. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Hallelujah to the Lord God. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the Lord God. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Jesus, we say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Is someone giving God praise? Is someone giving God praise for His goodness, for His mercies? for his tender 
kindness over our lives jesus we say thank you hallelujah to the lord god hallelujah to the lord god hallelujah to the lord god jesus we say thank you jesus we say thank you blessed be your name O god blessed be your name O god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray one of the one of the things i want us to pray on before we get into the meeting um the full um issues we want to deal with tonight is to deal with the spirit of fear to deal with the spirit of fear paul the apostle was talking unto timothy he said for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind and every spirit of fear you know when when we're when we're dealing when we're dealing um with the issues at hand of going to the valley of the dry bones and looking in to, to to that dimension where you begin to journey in the spirit like as we're going to look at tonight where the hand of the lord came upon ezekiel and he began to take him in the spirit to areas spiritual locations spiritual locations where there was need for transaction so there was there was a translation to a location for a transaction to occur it was a spiritual transaction because when he go to that valley it was full of dry bones very many and very dry but by the time he was leaving that place it was no longer dry bones it was a mighty army that was resurrected by the power of god the lord will help us in this series we're going to be speaking over territories we're going to be speaking over nations we're going to be speaking over families we're going to be speaking over destinies wherever it may be where the dry bones have been wherever it may be where the dry bones have been have 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 littered the the valley these are people that in the valley of despair the valley of despondency the valley of failure the valley of sickness the valley of disappointment the valley the bible says multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision the valley where they cannot make up their mind they cannot muster their strength to rise to go to the top of the mountain to rise and triumph and go to the top of the mountain we're going to be speaking by the message of god over these lives but one thing the lord wants us to deal with tonight is the spirit of fear god has not given us the spirit of bondage again to fear god has not given us the spirit of bondage again to fear god has not given us the spirit of fear so many people are afraid of stepping into this dimension so many people are afraid of going all the way out with god so many people are afraid of speaking to the dry bones they are afraid that there's going to be like a repercussion of the from the spirit of the dead i want you to know the bible says it is appointed unto man wants to die and after this the judgment the spirit of the dead the spirit of the grave has been swallowed up by christ the bible says oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory he said the sting of death is sin and the strength of the grave the sting of death is sin if we look at that passage in first corinthians chapter 15 yes first corinthians chapter 15 yeah the sting of death is sin and the strength of the sin is the law it says but that was 56 it says but thanks be to god which give it us the victory through our lord jesus christ so we have come to that point of knowledge we've come to that point of understanding that in ourself alone then death and the grave has power but if it is through our lord jesus christ 
then we have been given the victory and it causes us to triumph he said thanks be unto god which causes us to triumph always and make it known the savor the savor the savor unto all men unto all men through our lives we have become like a glorious fragrance that that that, that spreads abroad like spreads abroad in the book of songs of solomon he says come O north wind and blow upon my garden that the sweet fragrance might flow out might flow out that is the believer to you by the by, by, by the spirit of god that sweet fragrance that has been deposited in our life that is the savor of the knowledge of christ is made known unto us in all place is made known unto us it's made known on, on, unto the world it's made known unto everyone the savor of the knowledge of christ is a sweet fragrance we have come to that point of boldness you see therefore we may boldly say the lord is my helper i will not fear what man can do unto me you want to rebuke every spirit of fear in your life every spirit of fear in my life every spirit of fear to decree to the mountain every spirit of fear to decree to the mountain every spirit of fear that is injuring me from decreeing over the valley of dry bones let them be removed from my life. Let them be removed from my life. Let them be removed from my life. Every spirit of fear, every spirit of fear, every spirit of fear will go into a deep transaction in this series by the help, by the power of God. And I want you to be bold as you decree to the valley of dry bones. The valley can know if you are afraid. It says, I prophesied as I was was commanded i was not shaking in my voice i was not afraid and because of fear i did not go dumb because of fear i did not go dumb some people have gone dumb because of fear they can no longer prophesy as they are commanded the lord has given them a command to prophesy to the nations of the world the lord has given them a command to prophesy to families and territories the lord has given them a command in the book of Revelation chapter 10, chapter 10, yeah, Revelation chapter 10, it says, I took the book out of the hand of the angel, and as soon as I heard it, it was sweet in my mouth like honey, and in my, my, in my belly was bitter, and he said, as soon as you eat the book, he said, you will prophesy to nations, to tongues, to tribes, to people, you will prophesy all the words that I have given unto you, all the words that I command you but when there is fear you cannot go according to the words of the prophecy you cannot go according to the words are commanded Lord let every fear be uprooted from my spirit tonight I will not fear I will not fear I will not be afraid I will not be afraid in the book of Psalm chapter 27 that I read it earlier the Bible says in the book of psalm 27 verse 1 he says the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid the lord said to me you are afraid of that medical report he said but i need fear to be taken out of your spirit you are afraid of that medical report they've given you the medical report you have it printed out and you're looking at it day and night and wondering what will become of your life the Lord says, I have told you to prophesy, but you are afraid because of the report that is before you. He said, one of the things I want to root out of your spirit tonight is called the spirit of fear. The Lord is your light. The Lord is your salvation. Whom shall you fear? The Lord is the strength of your life. Of whom shall you be afraid? Of what shall you be afraid? What is strong enough to make the child of God afraid? The disciples will with jesus in the boat 
the Bible says there arose a great storm, a mighty storm, and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. But the master of ocean and earth and skies was in the inner part of the boat asleep on a pillow, and they awakened him in a hurry and said, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Let it be known unto you today by the word of the Lord, you shall not perish by the power of Christ. The Lord is with you as a mighty terrible one. Let it be known unto you by the decree of heaven, you will not perish. I decree it upon your life, no matter how terrible the waves have been, no matter how terrible the waves have been, let it be known unto you today, you will not perish, you will not perish, you will not perish, every spirit that have been sent to take your life, I put them out, in the name of Jesus, I send them back, empty, in the name of Jesus, I return them back, in the name of Jesus, you will not perish that sickness is not unto death but that the glory of the Lord might be revealed this in this case you will not die at all you will not die at all because he has given unto me the power to, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemies and nothing shall by enemies hurt us nothing shall by enemies hurt you no evil will be for you the Lord is your light the Lord is your salvation whom shall you fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid the Lord has become your strength and your salvation the Lord has become my strength and my salvation I wish someone will decree it the Lord has become my strength the Lord has become my salvation therefore I will not be afraid therefore I will not be afraid therefore I will not be afraid I will speak to the dry bones I will command them to come alive I will speak to the problems I will command them to disappear I will speak to the mountains I will command them to disappear I will speak to hosts of dragons and demons I will command them to disappear and I will not be afraid because I am doing it as I am commanded as I am commanded it says when the wicked it doesn't it doesn't diminish the fact that there are wicked powers that there are wicked personalities that there are wicked forces that have kept things a status quo there are wicked principalities that have kept the bones very dry there are wicked personalities that keep drying up your bones that keep drying up your health that keep drying up your finances that keep drying up your ambitions that keep drying up your wallet that keep drying up your destiny it doesn't hide that fact that there are wicked forces it says when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh it says they stumbled and fell they stumbled and fell that will be their portion tonight that will be their portion tonight the adversaries that have risen up against your life against your destiny the hour has come for them to stumble the hour has come for them to fall the hour has come for them to stumble the hour has come for them to fall in the name of jesus he said though one host shall encamp against me my heart shall not fear though an host the host of dry bones the host of dry hard problems the host of demons the host of hell the hearts of darkness he says though they should encamp against me he says my heart shall not fear though war should rise against me by reason of this series we are doing with is basically war upon the dry bones war against the dry bones we have declared war against dry bones we have declared war against problems we have declared war against darkness war against the 
devil for do we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to go to the pulling down of strongholds strongholds of darkness strongholds of hell strongholds of evil strongholds in the valley of tribes strongholds of sicknesses strongholds of our territories strongholds of our nations strongholds principalities strongholds powers strongholds spiritual wickedness in high places strongholds the rulers of the darkness of this world the Bible says have respect unto the covenant for the dark places of the earth are full of the instrument of cruelty are full of the have become the habitations of cruelty we're pulling down their strongholds the strongholds in the dark places of the earth the strong bones strong strongholds in the valley of dry bones he said casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of christ he said bringing into captivity every thought of fear bringing into captivity every thought of fear to the obedience of christ will pull down the strongholds will pull down the strongholds of fear uh, pull down the strongholds of fear he says no war should rise against me no war should rise against me in this will I be confident one thing have I desired of the Lord and that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple for in the time of trouble he will hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me he will set me upon a rock and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me therefore will i offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy i will sing yea i will sing praises unto the lord he says yea o lord when i cry with my voice and have mercy upon me and answer me when thou saidest seek thou my face seek ye my face my heart said unto you 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 thy face lord will i seek hide not thy face from me put not thy servant away in anger thou hast been my help leave me not neither forsake me o god of my salvation when my father and when my mother forsake me then the lord will take me up the lord is adopting someone tonight you have not yet known the lord as your personal lord and savior the lord is taking you up as you surrender your life unto him as you kneel at the foot of calvary as you receive the sacrificial and the substitutionary death of jesus christ as you believe in the death the resurrection of jesus christ for your glorification and justification ah the lord is transforming you from sinner to saint the lord is transforming you as the redeemed of the lord let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy let the redeemed of the lord say so whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy when my father and my mother forsake me are you an orphan looking and being tossed here and there the lord is picking up orphans the bible says he's the father of the fatherless yes he's the father of the fatherless the lord is picking people up today the lord is picking people up today i can sense it in the spirit the lord is adopting men the lord is adopting women the lord is adopting people tonight in the name of jesus when my father have you been neglected that vision the ambition you told so many people so many people you thought you're going to receive help from and they have forsaken you 
so many people you look up to you thought they are going to help you they are forsaking you the Lord is raising you hope again the Lord is adopting you again when my father and my mother forsake me when my helpers the people I look up to when they forsake me he says then the Lord will take me up the Lord is taking up your case again that chronic situation you've gone to meet men of God and stylishly now men of God are beginning to avoid you because of how chronic your situation is because of how pathetic your situation is because of how terrible and complex and complicated the case is you have gone to meet men of God they have registered your face and your name they have registered your number they no longer pick your calls they have registered your name when they see you they say tell that person at the door that I am not around because they are avoiding your case they are avoiding they have done everything in their power and they are forsaking you the Bible says then the Lord will take me up the Lord specializes in chronic cases the Lord specializes in complex cases the Lord specializes in the bones that are very very dry very very dry go and gather them together go and gather them together there is power in this place there is power to decree over the bones there is power to decree over the valley there is power to decree over the nations there is power to decree over your situation there is power to decree over the territories there is power to waken the dead there is power to waken the dead there is power the resurrection and the life jesus christ the anointed jesus christ the risen one being made so much more better than the angels as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent ministry than they jesus christ the anointed who died and rose again and has with him the keys of death and hell and he says go ye therefore into all nations and preach the gospel unto them for my sake and the gospel go and share redemption story is errored and be it so and thine lord all the glory jesus christ kali pali is someone receiving the power Jesus Christ the anointed Jesus Christ the all powerful the Papu said Jesus came and stood in their midst and said all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth all power is given unto me in heaven and on earth you see once has God spoken twice have I heard the power belongeth unto God the power belongeth unto God Jesus Christ the anointed is here with his power to break every chains to break every chains when the father and mother forsake me he says then the Lord will take me up then the Lord will take me up he said teach me thy way O God we need to learn the ways of the Lord we need to learn the instructions of the spirit teach me thy way O Lord and lead me in a plain path because of my enemies deliver me not over to the will of my enemies for false witnesses are risen up against me and such as breathe out cruelty he said I had fainted unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord all this I'm reading is from Psalm 27 unless I believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living he says wait upon the Lord I tell you the valley of dry bones will become the valley of the army of God 
but you need to wait upon the Lord wait until the breath of God comes that song right to say is just breathe your name upon me breathe breathe your name breathe your name breathe your name breathe 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 but we need to wait for the breath of God we need to wait on upon the Lord don't be hasty don't be hasty to give up don't be hasty and say you know what I've been prophesying I've been prophesying the bones have not yet come together he says wait upon the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen your heart wait I say upon the Lord hallelujah to the Lord God you spirit of fear hmm. the Lord from heaven rebuke you you spirit of fear the Lord from heaven rebuke you you no longer are a slave to fear for you are a child of God you no longer a slave to fear for you are a child of God no more fear no more fear hallelujah no more fear no more fear no more fear no more fear in the name of Jesus no more fear no more fear no more fear in Jesus name we pray just before we go again to the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 we're still on this issue of fear because I found out many people are paralyzed by reason of fear the great vision the great destiny the Lord has committed into their hands the bewildered by fear They've become dumb. They've become weak as a result of fear. And I'm afraid to announce to you that it goes beyond the case of an individual. An entire family can become paralyzed by fear. An entire territory, society, civilization can become paralyzed by fear. It's a fearful thing to say, but it's true. I'll show you from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. <laughs> Kali Brado Shadi Pradiza. Oh my God. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 1. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle. And we gathered together in Sukkot which belonged unto Judah and pitched between Sukkot and Azekah. It says, And Saul and the men of Israel were gathered together and they pitched in the valley of Elah and set the battle in array. Let me announce to you today, in case you're not aware, that the battle has been set in array. As soon as you decided to contend with the dry bones, you have set the battle in array. And if you look at one of our previous meetings where we were looking at every battle of the warrior, it's with confused noise, garments rolled in blood. He said, but this shall be with burnings and fuel of fire. He says, fury is not in name. Who will set the thorns and the briars before me in battle? I will go through them and burn them all together. Yes, yes, that is the word of the law. The battle will set in a ring. And the Philistines stood on the mountain on one side and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side and there was a valley between them the valley of dry bones hmm. and there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath whose height was six cubits and a span he went ahead to describe the stature of this giant that he, let's let's not leave it in doubt let's not leave the, the description of the giant on a speculative level 
this is the precise description this is the pre precise measurement of this giant and we looked at it also in the book of Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 2 he said it caused me to move around about the valley he said there were many dry bones and they were very dry we need to get a proper appraiser of the valley a proper appraiser of the giant the bible says this was his stature verse 8 he stood and cried unto the armies of israel he says why are you come out to set the battle in array am not i a philistines and ye servants of Saul? choose you a man for you kala pradia to see kingdom I hope to you that the Lord will open your eyes to see that the battle facing your family have been saying this same sentence. Choose you a man to represent your family. Choose you a man to represent your church. Choose you a man to represent your territory. Choose you a man to represent. Let it not be everyone against everyone no 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 i am a giant a giant in the kingdom of darkness therefore i speak to your family choose a man to come and face me for how many centuries for how many decades have this giant been crying against your family and no man has been able to to, to emerge the Bible says, I sought for a man. Calibra Satosia. Imagine the frustration of heaven. Imagine the bewilderment of heaven that is be seeking for a man. I need a man to stand up. I need a man just to, 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 to volunteer so that I can disgrace this Goliath once and for all. That spirit of, of, of miscarriage that have been played give your family the lord have been the giant have been crying against you he said choose a man to break this trend choose a man to liberate the other people in the family choose a man that will break this yoke once and for all that is what goliath has been crying he said choose a man for you and let him come down to me if he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then will we be your servants. But if I prove Ali Masukati Akila, God forbid, for our God is a man of war the Lord of hosts this is his name he says I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his chariots of Pharaoh he has sunk them into the sea the adversary cannot prevail he says we are jealous for your name oh God he says they have slain your prophet and they have slain the prophets of God with the edge of the sword. He says that I only, I am left. I am left. I only, I am left. The Lord says you are not the only one left. But you, you happen to be the man that stood up to confront Jezebel. You happen to be the only man that stood up to confront the spirit of Baal. You happen to be the only man, Elijah the other seven thousand people who have not bowed the knee were not courageous enough to stand up to face the tyranny of Heab. the other seven thousand people who have not bowed the knee are not courageous enough to stand up to face the the, the, the rampage of darkness the other prophets that obadiah hid in the cave by 50 and 50 they were only they there eating bread and drinking water we did not hear that they were praying or interceding they were they went into hiding but could not confront the wickedness of the 
palace. He says, Hi, only I am left. I am that man who rose up in the spirit to turn a backsliding nation back to God. Kali Pratyat Kinda. He says, Lord, I am that man. Is someone getting hungry tonight? Is someone getting stirred in the spirit tonight that you will be that man? He says, we will we'll serve him if 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 i prevail and kill him then ye shall be our servants and servos he says and the philistine said i defy the armies of israel this day give me a man that we may fight together that is what the bad two have been saying i need the man I need a man in your lineage. I need a man in your destiny. I need a man in your church. I need a man in that department. I need a man in that faculty. I need a man in that office. Darkness have been ruling in that office for so long. Undisturbed. Unabated. And they have been defying the armies of the God of Israel. Who is jealous enough over the glory of Yeshua who is jealous enough over the glory of God like Elijah who is jealous to rise up and volunteer and says I am that man today the Lord will give your head to the fowls of the heaven today the Lord will give your head to the fowls of the heaven he says and I will cut off your head Calabrausa Oh, look at the book of that first Samuel chapter 17, verse 11. It says, And when Saul and all Israel had those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Can you imagine that? That even the army that is armed with weapons were afraid that's why the lord said deal with the spirit of fear tonight deal with the spirit of fear tonight you may carry the weapons you may carry the 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 the, 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 the multitude to some extent it says they were afraid hmm. my god my god my god look at verse 32 one man eventually showed up Unfortunately for the army, this man was a boy, a boy in the, in the physical, but he was a giant in the spirit, the lion slayer. Don't look at the physical appearance of this boy. Judge not after the physical appearance. No, no, but judge righteous judgment. Judge righteous judgment. A boy, but a man in the spirit appeared. He says, verse 32, and this David said unto Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Let no man's heart be afraid tonight. Let me assure you, and we and this and this valley, this valley will respond to the voice of, of, of prophecy. Let no man's heart fail. Let me assure you that dead situation as well prophesy or will respond and that situation that has been written off it will respond to the spirit of prophecy let no man's heart fail because of these uncircumcised philistines the, let no man's heart fail thy servant will go and fight with the philistine oh my god oh my god Kali Brado Sitaya verse 45. Then said David to the Philistine. So he did not only say to Saul. He actually went and faced and spoke to the Philistine. He says, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come unto thee in the name of the Lord of hosts. That is our weapon, the name of the Lord of hosts. The God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Look at the, the judgment pronounced this day, Kalibala di Satosa. Not tomorrow. This 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 conquest will not be delayed. This day the Lord will deliver thee into my hand, 
and I will smite thee and take thy head from thee and I will give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day he repeated the timing this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beast of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel hallelujah to the Lord God hallelujah to the Lord God hallelujah to the Lord God Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 and the hand of the Lord was upon me hallelujah hmm. Let the hand of the Lord come upon me now. Calibra Sita. We have dealt with fear. We have uprooted fear. We have dismantled fear. Now the hand of the Lord must come upon my life. The Bible says the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he outran the chariots of Ahab. Can you begin to pray and seek the faith? of the Lord. Lord, let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand rest upon me. It's time for me to journey in the physical. It's time for me to journey in the spiritual. It's time for me to journey in the name of Jesus. Let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand rest upon me. Let your hand rest upon me in the name of Jesus. Let your hand rest upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of power. The hand of might. The hand of wisdom. The hand of revelation the hand of the Lord was upon me let that hand come 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 upon me in the name of Jesus let that hand come upon me let the hand of God rest upon my life let the hand of God rest upon my life. Let the hand of God rest upon my destiny. Let the hand of God from tonight onward let it rest upon me. Let it rest upon me. Let the hand that translates, let the hand that moves a man, let that hand that gives a man journeys in the spirit let it rest upon me i have been stagnant for too long let the hand come upon me in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray let me let me bring to your understanding that once the hand of the lord is upon you you can no longer be stationary once the hand of the lord comes upon you the bible says the hand of the lord came upon elijah he guarded up his lungs and he outran the chariots of Ahab. Ahab has gone before, but Elijah ran on foot and he outran Ahab to the entry of Jezreel. The hand of the Lord can come upon a man in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1. Ezekiel, chapter 1. Ezekiel, chapter 1. Maka, Brado, Shaliado, Sata. Verse 1. Hmm. Hmm. Now it came to pass in the thirteenth year, in the fourth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river Chiba, that the heavens were opened, and I saw the visions of God. And I saw the visions of God, and I saw the visions of God in the fifth day, which was the fifth month, which was in the fifth day of the month, which was the fifth year of the King Jehoiakim's captivity. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chiba and the hand of the Lord 
was there upon him hmm. the hand of the lord so there is a location that he was in and the hand of the lord came upon him there hmm. kali brazutaya jebro soti maru diakila brando hmm. Hmm. the hand of the lord came upon him there the hand of the lord came upon him there let that hand come upon your life tonight let the hand of the lord come upon your life tonight enough of being stationary enough of being stationary enough of being stationary let the hand of the lord come upon you let the hand of the lord in chapter 2 verse 1 he says and he said unto me son of man stand upon thy feet and i will speak unto thee he says and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that i had him that spake unto me the spirit of the lord entered into him the hand of the lord rested upon him the spirit of the lord entered into him and set him upon his feet the hand of the lord the hand of the lord the hand of power the hand of might the hand of deliverance the hand of dominion the Bible says who has believed our report and unto whom is the arm of the Lord revealed let that hand rest upon your life tonight let that hand rest upon your destiny tonight let that hand rest upon your destiny tonight in our other series we're considering on Saturdays we looked at the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 1 where the Lord says I will hold thy right hand I will hold thy right hand the hand of the Lord can hold your hand the hand of the Lord can come upon you the hand of the Lord can carry you the hand of the Lord can carry you. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 1 he said the hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me. Let your hand come upon me O God. Hmm. Let that hand carry me. He says and carried me out and carried me out. When the hand of the Lord came upon me it carried me in the spirit he lifted me from the dungeon he lifted me from the marriage the hand of the lord lifted me from the dunghill let that hand come and carry you let that hand come and lift you up let that hand come and lift you up let that hand break the chains let that hand break the shackles let the hand liberate you for captivity let the hand carry you out let the hand of god carry you out right now every place of confinement every military base where you have been locked up i command let the hand of the lord bring you out right now let the hand of the lord bring you out right now let the hand of the lord bring you out right now let the hand of the lord carry you out right now let the hand of the lord that knows no barrier let the hand of the lord that knows no knows no limitation let that hand liberate you your chains are gone you are set free your chains are broken you are carried out your chains are broken you are coming out of confinement you're coming out of that military base you are coming out of darkness you're coming out of prison you're coming out of prison you are liberated from prison you are liberated from the dungeon I pull you out by the hand of the Lord let that hand rest upon your life let that hand cause you to wrong let that hand and stop and um, 
put an end to every form of stagnation in your life. Let the hand of God reverse stagnation. Let the hand of God reverse the snail spear. Let the hand of God reverse that limitation. Let the hand of God carry you out. Let that hand come upon you. Let the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you. Let it begin to carry you to the precise location for your deliverance. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you. Let it begin to carry you to the precise location where you need to address the dry bones. Let the hand of the Lord move you forward. Let the hand of the Lord move your destiny forward. Let the hand of the Lord cause liberty. Let the hand of the Lord cause liberation. Let the hand of the Lord break the chains. Let the hand of the Lord deliver the oppressed. Let the hand of the Lord liberate the captive. He said, the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel unto the poor, to set at liberty them that are bruised, oh my God, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. This is the acceptable year of the Lord. He says, I have had thee in the day appointed. This is the day of salvation and I have succored you. Let the hand of the Lord carry you. Let the hand of the Lord carry you. Hmm. Let the hand of the Lord carry you. Let the hand of the Lord carry you. Let the hand of the Lord carry me. Let the hand of the Lord carry me. Lord, I need your hand. Let I need your hand. Lord, I need your hand. Lord, I need your hand. Lord, I need your hand. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I need your hand. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I need your hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you continue in prayers and say, Lord, let your hand rest upon me? He said, the hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me. The hand of the Lord was upon me. Let the hand of the Lord rest upon me in the full dimension. Let the hand of the Lord carry me. If you look at the book of Ezekiel, the Bible says the hand of the Lord will carry him and lift him up with the locks of his head and carry him between heaven and earth to precise locations. There is need to move to the location for your deliverance. There is need to move to the valley of the dry bones where you need to speak no matter how mysterious how mystical how enclosed the adversary has tried to make that valley so that it will not be easily accessible by the hand and the transportation of heaven. We get to that valley. That valley where we need to speak against the dry bones. That valley where we need to find out the origin of the battle, that valley where we need to find out the activities of darkness, that valley where we need to understand how severe the captivity is, we move there by the hand of the Lord, let that hand rest upon me, let that hand rest upon me, I need it like never before, I need it like never before, in the name of Jesus, is someone praying to God, the hand of the Lord is coming upon you afresh, you are minister of the gospel the hand of the lord is coming upon you afresh and you are a deliverance minister the hand of the lord is coming upon you afresh you have been in captivity in the cave of hadulam the lord is bringing you out by his mighty hand he's carrying you out by his mighty hand in the name of jesus get out of confinement get out of confinement get out of limitation get out of the entrances come out by the power of god i break the shackles of your spirit i break the chains of your neck i break the chains of your feet i break the chains of your hand the hand of the lord is coming upon you the bible said the angel tapped peter and say bind on thy sandals put on thy sandals and cast your garments around about thee the bible says immediately chains fell off your chains are falling off by the ministration of the spirit tonight your chains are gone rise you are 
carried out by the hand of the Lord. Let it be so in the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Thank you because there is no longer fear. Thank you because we will speak and the word that we speak will come to pass. Let it be so steadfast as the throne in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name be praised forever. Let your name be praised forever in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Hallelujah to the Lord God. Let the hand of the Lord come upon you. Hmm. In, in ways you have never known oh my goodness in ways you cannot explain let the hand of the Lord come upon you let it carry you out let it carry you forth let it carry you that spiritual journey that prophetic journey that you need to embark upon for your deliverance for your liberation let the hand of the Lord carry you the Bible said the spirit of the Lord came upon something he began to move him in the camp between Dan and Eshtar. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you like never before. This is not something you have known before. The hand of the Lord is coming upon you. He's translating you and transforming you into another man. He's transforming you into another being. The Bible says they began to question is Saul also among the prophets because he came into that prophetic zone where the hand of the Lord came upon him and he began to prophesy your life is changing tonight your life is changing to another realm by the hand of the Lord I want you to, to, to spend some time to incubate this thing until it becomes a reality I've made you to know that very soon all of these meetings will be available and if you want to journey with God follow the sequence listen to everything listen to everything you will see the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus let it be so in the name of Jesus I decree upon your life the way is open the doors are open in the name of Jesus the net that the adversary has spread for your feet I command them to fall into that net let them be trapped by themselves in the name of Jesus every demonic gathering calibra those Every demonic gathering that has set up the fire to burn incense, I command that same fire to consume them all in the name of Jesus. I command that fire to consume them off the bible says ye that set the fire walk in the sparks of your fire this shall be your portion you will lie down together and perish you demonic fire that have been set up you demonic fire in the realms of darkness i command it to devote those who are set it up in the name of Jesus let the fire of affliction we are devout those who are set it up let the fire of sicknesses uh, of, of infirmity we are devout those who are set it up in the name of Jesus let the fire of evil let it go back go back in the name of Jesus the Bible says don't no nations shall encamp around me. No people, or oh, say nations encamp around me like bees. He said they are quenched as the fire of thorns. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. I command that fire devour your divorce, devour those who have set it up, and be quenched as the fire of thorns. The Bible says it make it war to cease unto the ends of the earth. It burned the chariots in fire. Come and see the salvation of the Lord which he has wrought in the earth the Lord of hosts is with us and the God of Jacob is our refuge let it be so right now I command that evil oppression let it be terminated right now in the name of Jesus I decree terminated I decree terminated
terminated in the name of Jesus. Satan, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. All power belongs to Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God reigns forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Have a great night rest. I'll see you tomorrow night. I will continue in this series. I want you to be in the spirit. I want you to pray. Continue steadfast in prayer. Watching there unto with all perseverance in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. And pray for us as well. That the Lord God will uphold us by spirit. And that it will grant unto us utterance. That the word of the Lord might come in season and out of season. That the word of the Lord might come forth with power. And not be in that. In the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I love you all. Have a great night rest. God be with you. Amen. Breathe, oh breath of God, now breathe.